guys. So I've been teasing that I'm going to review the 1996 movie, A Time to Kill. Uh, this is going to be a different review than my last video. Uh, in Battlefield Earth, because you know how much I love that movie. I love that fucking movie. Okay, uh, let's seriously, Time to Kill. Uh, now, I like, uh, Joel Schumacher. We know, we all know him for the, cl for the classic Batman and Robin, but he's done falling down with Michael Douglas. I love that movie, uh, but, yeah, this I heard was one of his best films, and yeah, this is one of his best films. This is a great movie. It's, it's got a great story, great acting, very entertaining. Uh, yeah, so the story's about uh, this Samuel Jackson plays Carl Lee. He, he, uh, his daughter gets raped, and then he... And then he, and then he kills the rapists that raped his daughter, and then Matthew McConaughey. This fell out again. And then Matthew McConaughey has to defend. And then Matthew McConaughey's character Jake has to defend them. And he, yeah, that's the story. Uh, the story is really good. It takes some really interesting turns. It's got a lot of interesting points of view of this case like like from the from the good people's point of case from the like asshole points point of case from the racists point of case uh yeah so like you see point of views from other from different groups of people of the of the case that's going on, and you see which case would probably win. Uh, it's kind of uh, I wouldn't say political, but kind of true. I mean, there are some racist people. Like if you look at like Obama, there are some people that are like, "Oh, good for him, good for him. He's the pro black president." And there are some racists that don't respect Obama being a black president. Uh, we're not talking about that, but you get the point. Like, uh, like they do touch upon that in this movie, and I like that. Uh, the writing's really good. Uh, the right, it's a well-written movie. There's a lot of great dialogue scenes. Uh, the characters are really well-written. Uh, you can tell that. Uh, I'm going to say this. I think maybe Matthew McConaughey's performance is similar to Atticus Finch. Because this is somewhat similar to, to Kill a Mockingbird. But yeah. Anyways, Matthew McConaughey's fantastic. He, he's been doing great lately. But this is earlier in his career. This was like at, a little bit after Dazed and Confused. And like. And then he did Amistad, which was also really good. Uh. But yeah, this is he's he's fantastic in this. So Samuel Jackson as always. Uh and this is a different performance from his like performance of pulp fiction from when he played Jules Winfield. And uh Yeah. That's it. Who else is in this? There's a lot. Sandra Bullock was really good. Uh Keith or Su Keith or Sutherland. Is he's, he's he plays the perfect like racist guy. I really enjoyed how he did Donald and Donald Sutherland did really good. Kevin Spacey, Oliver Platt, big big cast. Ashley Judd, uh, Sandra Bullock's great. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, so many people. Did I say Oliver Platt? Uh, 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 oh yeah, Chris Cooper. Oh man. Chris Cooper's great in this movie. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock brings a lot of energy. Uh, and Joel Schumacher did a great job, like making you feel him. Like, 
Wow, a year later, he really directed Batman and Robin? The Ice Cometh. I'm like, wow, you know what? He could have made a good Batman movie. I mean, these films proved it. These films are great. What what happened, Joel? What happened? Why did you do that? It's like, I'm now I'm more disappointed why Batman and Robin sucks. Just a personal thing. Oh, yeah, and Batman Forever King. A year two, I can't forget that. I, I've never seen Batman Forever. But, uh, yeah, uh, what happened? You made some good movies. So, overall, I really love this movie. I'm going to give it a A. It's a great movie, and if you haven't seen it, see it. All right, that's my review. Like, subscribe, and uh, bye bye. I, I may have. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. I may have a, uh, uh, Animal House review. All right, bye bye.